Mogul Harvey Weinstein, who is now a convicted rapist and sex criminal, has won the right to appeal his conviction to New York's top court. Now, court of Appeals Chief Judge Janet DeFiori agreed to give Weinstein a hearing. News Nation investigative reporter Rich McHugh's work helped expose Weinstein's abusive behavior. And he has more for us about the court appeals hearing this morning. A court spokesperson says arguments will likely begin sometime next year, after which the court could decide to uphold Weinstein's conviction or order a new trial. The 70-year-old is currently serving 23 years in prison for two sexual assaults, one in 2006, another in 2013. A key player in the case against Weinstein, Jessica Mann. She was 25 years old when she met him with hopes that the powerhouse movie producer would launch her acting career. Her testimony sealed the jury's decision to convict Weinstein. In a sit-down interview with Mann last year, I asked her of Weinstein's efforts to appeal. Harvey Weinstein has submitted an appeal. He says he did not receive a fair trial and that his constitutional rights were violated. How do you respond to that? I almost find the situation laughable. Why is that? It's just so typical. He's looking for the loopholes. Anything he can find, and at this point it's not a surprise, it's the hundred plus voices of women who never knew each other, who never spoke, who lived in the dark and hid this shame and dealt with this trauma, attest to the fact that this man is not innocent. So he's delusional. Now, in an exclusive statement about Weinstein's appeal, Mann says she's not surprised by the decision, telling me, quote, Harvey Weinstein is a classic narcissist who continues to take zero accountability. His guilt has been proven multiple times and will continue to be proven in the coming trial. She adds, quote, regardless of the appeal, the world and his family alike have disowned him. We all know what a monster he is. Our society is safer without him. And News Nation investigative reporter Rich McHugh joining us now. So, Rich, good to see you on the Big Sun Morning News. So, Rich, tell us what is your sense this morning about the likelihood, right, that Harvey Weinstein could win a new trial? Because a lot of information coming out. There's a core interesting issue whether some of the witness testimony allowed actually made his trial unfair. Right. So his main argument and what he's been asking for since he, since he began this appeal, since the conviction, basically, was centered around something called the Molyneux Witnesses, which is prior bad acts witnesses. And in layman's terms, that's people coming in to testify and saying, this also happened to me, this happened to me, this happened to me. And they were saying, you know, they, there was a number of women who testified and that was not fair. Yeah. Um, you know, speaking to a number of, the, of his victims just recently, saying, how can you not allow this, uh, these women to testify and the court the jury hear this? Uh, speaking to attorneys involved in this, they say, you know, the lower, the lower court ruled against this. They, they said it was fair. So the, the, the few lawyers that I did speak to said, we feel that his chances are slim, but anything is possible. Yeah. So at the time of the trial, though, did the judge ever say why he was allowing that testimony from those other women? Not to my knowledge. I mean, I, I didn't sit through the entire, it was in the, the, the I followed the trial and I was in the courtroom, um, but I wasn't there every day. And I, I don't know if he addressed it specifically. Uh, but the, the sense from everybody was that it was this was proceeding as it should. Yeah, you know, Rich, the, the women that he was that he was formerly accused of violating, Mimi Haley and Jessica Mann, do you think that yeah. they'll actually be willing to go through this all over again, right? Another trial, another test, Ooh. get on the stand again, testify again, go through that pain and experience all over again if Weinstein actually wins his appeal? That is a really good question. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I mean, in speaking with Jessica Mann, I know that it, it took her months to kind of recover after this. Like, yeah. in the courtroom, she was she was screaming. And, and like, in, in the chambers behind the courtroom, uh, you could hear her cries and, and how stressful this all was for her. So I don't know, but I, I, I think they're, they're hoping also that there's this trial coming up in L.A. There's 11 different charges he's facing there. Uh, that begins in October. So I think they're, they're hoping that there won't be a need for this. Yeah, there, we've seen some photos of Weinstein in prison. Do you know how he's holding up in there? Physically, I don't know exactly what he's dealing with, but watching his progression since, you know, we began reporting on him mm -hmm. in 2016, 2017, till the, even the court case, and then uh, seeing some photos of him in prison, 
Uh, it doesn't look like he's doing well. I, mean, yeah. I, I know he has some ailments that he needs regular medication for, and I don't know if he's taking it, be able to take those in prison. I have no idea. Yeah, right. those are photos that I actually obtained when he was at Rikers Island years ago. Um, that we were just showing wow. on the screen, um, and 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 I'm not sure. You know, his attorney back then was saying, "Well, yeah, he needed the walker back and forth." Um, you know, Weinstein issued a statement expressing some gratitude, Rich, for for the ability yep. to appeal this his 23 year sentence, right? But but he's also facing another trial for in October in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. So there's two things happening at the same time, right? Tell us about that one. Well, he's. I mean, this is his only shot, right? This appeal, and he, he's going to try. He's a, he's a, he's a fighter. He's going to try and do everything he possibly can. Um, the charges in L.A. Uh, I've spoken. I've spoken with some of the women who are um, involved in that case. One of whom I believe is central to the case, and the charges are horrific. If if a jury hears that. Um, I'm not a lawyer, but I think it'll be it'll be over uh, because the charges it, it related to the in the LA case, in some ways are are more gruesome than than the the New York case. Um, so if a jury ends up hearing that, I don't know I don't know how this is all going to play out. But yeah. from what I heard, um, if a jury hears that, it's it's. I don't see how he he walks after that. Yeah, yeah hard to believe it could get any worse. Uh, News Nation investigative reporter Rich McHugh, thank you so much for coming by this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you both.